absolutely full. 16,000 packed in here, paying record receipts of around £50,000 today. And this on a bitterly cold afternoon. But the pitch, not as hard as they'd feared it might be. And most of the players apparently using their normal footwear. It's a very attack-minded Walsall side, but defensively they've looked rather suspect at times this season, despite the arrival of two Premier Division players from Scotland, Graham Forbes and Andy Dornan. Craig Shakespeare is the man whose creative talents in midfield are most likely to unsettle Watford. And up front, well, they've three outright strikers. Trevor Christie and Nicky Cross have both played in the First Division for their previous clubs. And operating just behind them, David Kelly, 17 goals for Walsall this season, and a player who's attracting a lot of interest from top clubs. Watford were most disappointing at Old Trafford last week, and Graham Taylor has switched his players around, bringing Nigel Gibbs in at right back, and pushing David Barsley forward, hoping to use his pace in an attacking role. Kenny Jackett has recovered from the calf injury that kept him out of the Welsh side in midweek. Gary Porter drafted into midfield wide on the left. And up front, there's no place for Luther Plissett. Mark Falco's partner down the middle will be John Barnes. Barnes back from international duty with England, of course, and occupying today the role in which he started the season before Falco arrived from Tottenham. The referee today comes from Hampshire. It's John Martin. Watford is then who get us underway. It's Warsaw's 250th FA Cup tie. Hoping to reach the quarterfinals for the first time in their history. And Watford hoping to progress towards another appearance in the FA Cup final. They played there, of course, in 1984. Graham Forbes. Tremendous atmosphere around the ground. It's been a set up this one for some time. And you can imagine how it's been building up in the area over the past few days. goalkeeper. I wonder how much pressure he'll be under this afternoon for this Watford team. They luck to attack. So do Warsaw, no doubt about that for their record this season. Tommy Coakley is the man in charge of Warsaw. Tommy who they were saying at the start of the season. They certainly know who he is now. Rostrad. Watford Falco now his Barnes. An early chance perhaps here for Watford. It's Forbes who got his tackle in well. But only as far as Rostron. Barnes again. Away from Walker. And a chance and a goal. Barnsley. What a start for Watford. One or two of the Warsaw players looking towards the referee. But he saw nothing wrong. And with just two minutes gone. John Barnes has set up the opening goal for David Bartley. The cross superbly flighted. Did seem to be some jostling, but Bartley was there to head it in. There's the header in, and Warsaw are a goal down in just two minutes. Suggesting that start by Watford. He certainly answered Graham Taylor's criticism of their display up at Old Trafford in the most positive way. Shakespeare also hoping for great things from him today and for this man, David Kelly. Got Christie in the middle and cross in there too. His cross wasn't good enough. And Richardson for the corner. Which Jones will take, and it was from a corner. But Warsaw scored the winner from this man, indeed, Jones, in the last round against Birmingham. Direct from a corner, it was credited the goal to Jones, although several people claimed they touched it on the way. Nothing doing this time, but here's Shakespeare. Jones again. Christie gone into the middle, and there's Christie! Very nearly turned it in. corner but watch here for the run of Christie the ball deflected into his path and just away from the corner the danger hasn't passed Jones with a cross hit sinks powerfully away Here goes Jones with Rostron cross in the ball for Kelly but here's Shakespeare 
Kelly, and now Christie! And it's a penalty. A penalty given as Christie went in on Cope. John Martin was right on the spot. Christie needing attention. But they were told him that he's got the penalty. Let's take another look there as Christie goes in. And he's brought down then by the challenge. And Christie, I think, is going to take the kick. He's taken over the job from Craig Shakespeare. After Shakespeare missed a couple. So, what a moment here then for Trevor Christie. It's Christie against Copen. And it's 1-1. But my word only just... Christie has equalised for Walsall. Curtin so nearly kicked it out. He went the right way and could only palm it in. And Trevor Christie has made it 1 1. And really, Walsall had to look at finding a goal right up until then. But now Trevor Christie, on a sudden breakthrough, has equalised. And now the ground is really humming. What a cup tie here. And Tommy Coakley, an excited man. Walks with Falco. All corner away from Gordon. Can he finish it? Barnes is coming in. So is Barnsley. The ball flashed across the goal and passed the post. Agonizingly near, though. Gordon let him in. Porter, there's the shot just past the post. They're enjoying it now. Really relishing the occasion here. It's a real cup tie atmosphere. Sims with the free kick. Wilson. Way by Hart. Porter. Hart's going in. Will it fall for Porter? Good save then by Barber. Good instinct save. Right then by Dornan for the throw. But stopped then by Barber. His reactions were splendid to keep out the shot from Porter. Forbes has gone tearing upfield, the central defender for Russell. Now in the penalty area. It's Kelly. Setting himself up for the shot. And in the end, it only just crept wide. As if Cope had it covered all the way. And no real pace on the shot from Kelly. But it very nearly sneaked in. He's gone four games without a goal, David Kelly, but he says it hasn't knocked his confidence. And he certainly had the confidence to strike at one just wide. Peter Hart, Rippling with Falco, his pass. Now had three minutes of injury time. Porter with the cross. Richardson down. Barnsley, good tackle there by Hart. What an important challenge that was. Cross, Walker, making up a good position, and the whistle's gone at half-time. I don't think the players have heard it, as Coton comes out to save anyway. The half-time whistle goes, and this is developing into an absorbing cup tie. A marvellous start for Watford, but then Christie coming back with the equaliser. The penalty after 31 minutes after David Barnsley, given Watford the lead after just two minutes. And everything to play for here in the second half. One marvellous save by Barber to deny Gary Porter. At half-time, it's Warsaw 1, Watford 1. So, Warsaw it is then who start the second half. They've beaten the first division teams four times at home in the FA Cup in the past. And hoping to claim another success today. Absorbing cold for uh, time with two teams who've thrown everything at each other. It's been real Hilda Skilder staff, a typical FA Cup tie. Shakespeare driving the shot in, but it loses to Mitchell Gibbs. It's safely through to Cook. On from Barnes. This is 
Barnes gives. Good running by Barnes. Good control too. Away from Forbes. Unfortunately for Forbes, Moa was covering. Lovely skill shown then by John Barnes. This is Barnsley. Now then for Gibbs. Falco is in there. Shot from Richardson. And a splendid save by Barber. Who kept Warsaw on level terms then without any question. As the ball fell for Richardson. He really struck it well. And Barber had to push it over the top. Barber again, fisting it away. Clennon with the free kick. Christie sings it very strongly. But Christie stood his ground. Kelly now left the cross. Got Christie up in support and Hawker. And this is Dornan. Cross again. Can't stop the ball, but barely so by McLennan. And here's Dornan. Beyond Kelly. Christie going in. Shot for cross. Very nearly number two. Nicky Cross driving it in. There's a real air of confidence now about Warsaw. There's a shot from Cross. And off the post. And it's Christian now. Break for Warsaw. Released by Rostrum, who once or twice this afternoon has lost his footing. Now Cross. Can he get past McClellan? And not too many strikers get the better of this fellow. He may look a little awkward when he's running. John McClellan, but he's very, very quick. And he was certainly able to deny the Warsaw man then. Falco's come back to help out. 20 minutes into the second half. Christie on the near post. Somehow they got it away. Forbes was the Warsaw player going in. Christie touching it back, surely offside. Cross putting it in, but the flag was up a long time ago. Christie actually knocked the ball back into play while he was almost in the crowd. And a really anxious moment then for Watford. Christie flicking it across Coke. Only half saving. Cleared away. Both goalkeepers playing heroically today. Jackets header finding Barnes. This is Rostron. Now for Barnes. Can Watford clinch it? Rostron through. Cut up by Dorner. Oh, as clearance only as far as Kenny Jacket. He's given another solid performance in midfield. Barnsley. Now Kelly. He's got cross up in support. It's cross now. Can he finish it? Oh, well, that was close. Houghton is furious with his defenders. Well, loud cross the room, and he himself far from happy that he couldn't finish it off. Certainly got room for the shot. He drives it just wide. And that surely is Walsall's last chance. Well, what a finish that would have been. And relief for Tony Cope and the Watford defence. It's all over. The proud Warsaw of the third division left to fight another day. Watford might now be favourites for the replay, but little Warsaw are in the sixth round door. There's the man who put Watford in front after just a couple of minutes, David Barnsley. But then Warsaw coming back, the equaliser from Trevor Christie. And the fans warmly applauding them here today shown real courage against first division opposition and right at the death well Nicky Cross could so easily have won it for them but in the end it's all back to Watford for the replay it's Walsall 1 
one foot one.